kind of coming <coughs> into unfamiliar surroundings on a two-game losing streak, but you've gotten the win. Uh, what were your thoughts on your side's performance today? I thought for long spells, up until we scored, we were, we were very good. I thought we had a lot of control. We had a couple of half chances that we could have we could have scored, and then when we got the goal, we did seem to go on the back foot a little bit. But the lads defended very well. Uh, Daniel Margus had two or three good saves that that kept uh, uh, the clean sheet. But overall, it's a hard fought one, and it's one where I think good teams find ways to win. And I think tonight we needed to do that. We needed to defend very well, and even at the end, we still had chances to put it to bed. And that's some, something that we've been looking at over the last. Nine, ten games that we need to be that little bit more clinical because it could have been a little bit easier towards the end than what it was. But uh, delighted with the win. It's a big three points, like you say. It's uh, it stops that rotty two losses. So good win, and uh, can, we can get back to Sydney now and look forward to the game next week. Obviously, you're taking over Carl Robinson. Firstly, what do you know? What's wrong with Carl? Is he? I mean, is he going to be here for a few days? How, what, what's wrong? I think he'll be okay. I, he's, uh, he woke up this morning a little bit poorly. Uh, and it probably got worse as the day went on, so his uh, doc's advice, physio's advice is to stay in bed. And we're in contact with him throughout the game. Uh, he gave us the instructions beforehand, so the lads know their jobs. They, they know what they've got to do. Our work's done Monday to Friday. They, they know what the, the way we want to play, they know how we defend, they know the jobs that they've got to do. So it's just really reiterating that information before the game. But again, when you're in the game and it, it goes the way it's going and you're under a lot of pressure, the lads have to stand up and, and really be counted, which they've done great tonight at that. Well, are you pleased that your side, you know, as I said, they're in regional Victoria, two-game losing streak, they lose their coach the day of the game, yep. they didn't fall to pieces early, that they were able to stand up and be counted? Hey, this team's got huge character. Even in the last two games where we've we've lost both games, we went two 0 down in both games. But this this team's fought to try and get back into it, and we should have got back into it against Adelaide, and we had opportunities to get back into it against Melbourne City. So the team's got it's got character right through. It's got good resilience. Uh, so we had, we had no issue. We had no issue with the team. It was just a case of at the end, the last 20 minutes, 15 minutes, really defending and all hands on deck. Daniel, like I said, with a couple of good saves and some last ditch blocks and clearances from lads at the back. It was a fantastic defensive performance, good clean sheet, and like you've said, a massive three points for us. Jordan Much making his first ever A League start, he gets his maiden yep. A League goal in the same month. What were your thoughts on his performance? He done great. You know, he's been he's been building his fitness up over the last three weeks since getting out of quarantine. Uh, he got his start tonight. And I think the goal came from something that we had a good bit of success with in the first half as well. We we're pressing high, we we're trying to win the ball back quick or make them kick it long. And yet it was a mistake, but much he was alive, and it was a fantastic finish. A nice calm finish from a from a fantastic footballer. I mean, that press was very noticeable very early on. Was that just you guys trying to execute your game plan, or was that something you identified as a weakness in this Western United team? No, it's something. It's something that we we try to incorporate into our game. It's uh, we want to win the ball back as quick as we can, or we want to to force the team to kick it along. And, uh, and the way the game worked out, even in the early stages, we could sense there was a, there was a good opportunity to do that. And I thought the lads in the first half up were great, we had good control, we could have went in 1-0, we may, may have had a penalty towards the end of the, the first half. But when we got our goal, I thought it was just rewards for all the work that we had put in. And the last half hour, again, we could have been better. But they're a good team. They're a good, experienced daily team with some fantastic footballers in that team, and they put us under a lot of pressure. But the good thing for us is, as a staff and a club is we stood up to it, we fought to the end, and we got the result. I know you touched briefly a bit on finishing earlier. Are you maybe, you know, it's maybe an area for improvement that you didn't do more to make a backup goalkeeper that wasn't expected to play, you know, show a bit more than what he could do on it. Daniel Wilmering had that great chance early on, but would you have liked to maybe test the squad a little bit more? Well, we had good control and we had opportunities, and when the opportunities came along, and it's something that we have been working on, it's something we have been looking at over the last two months, is, is being a little bit more ruthless in front of goal. Uh, but when these chances come along, it's up to the players to make the right decisions and execute the right finish. And, uh, unfortunately for us as a goalkeeper there to save it. So it's uh Wilma had a good chance and at the end we had good chances to finish it. You know, Coxie had a good header, I think it was a block. Uh Kwame Yabo had a good chance as well to put the game out of sight. So these are the small things that could have made their life in that last six minutes a little bit easier. Just quickly before I let the guys on the laptop or say anything, um uh, March, how far away do you think he is before he's hundred percent fit? Uh, well, he's, he's been out for three, three and a half weeks. He's had minutes and 
three games. So it's a, it's a gradual build up. I think if, if he's playing and he's playing regularly and that's a decision for the boss and not me, if he's getting a start, then uh, he'll, get, he'll get up to speed pretty quickly. I mean, again, you've seen tonight, it was a good 65 minutes. We're trying to get a little bit more out of him because we didn't want to change it because we felt him and Graham Dorans in the middle give us a good control, great experience, uh, ex-Premier League players, so we've got good experience in there. So we didn't want to change it, but to save his legs and actually protect him a little bit, we need to take him off. But he's, uh, yeah, I still think in our three, four weeks, he'll be before he'll be right back up to speed. Um, like you said, the only goal today came from a mistake on Weston's behalf. Are you still comfortable that you were the better team nine years ago? I would say up until we scored, I thought we were definitely the better team. But when you're, you go one nil up, it affects teams in different ways. You know, we seem to take a backward step a little bit. Uh, when Western are now having to show a little bit more urgency to get back into the game. So I think it was a bit of both. But when you're asked to defend and you're, you're put under pressure, you've got players at the back that need to stand up. You've got a goalkeeper in the right moments, need to make saves. Tonight we had that. So, yeah, I think we deserved the three points. And for long spells, like I said, particularly up until we scored, I felt we were the better team. So you said you've got that determination, this team's got that determination now. Uh, the, if, if that goal wasn't scored, do you, you still feel like you would walk away with the win tonight? Fortunately enough, it did get scored, so uh, I don't need to answer that one. So, listen, the chances were there. We almost had a chance, uh, and they say a really, really good chance. Probably when you speak to him, we probably should score. But we got the goal, and goals change games, you know. They gave us something to hold on to. Yes, I would have liked us to have been a little bit more front foot the way we were playing before, but, like I said before, Western are a good team. Good experienced daily team with some fun, fantastic footballers in it that are always going to ask the question and try and get back into the game. So, tonight we had the answers for that, so it was a... Delighted with the win, big, big clean sheet as well.